R. Ask Reddit asks, what is one unwritten rule you think everyone should know and follow? Do not swipe left or right if someone shows you a photo on their phone. Don't start drama at a funeral. Or a punch up at a wedding. Don't propose at someone else's wedding. Propose. Then announce the pregnancy, right? Question mark. Don't die at someone else's funeral. Don't stand in the balcony screaming the bride's name until she yells yours and you both fight your way out of the church and take a bus into the unknown. Either. If you're borrowing it for a third time, you need one of your own. Ah, so I need a money of my own. Good to know. This is how my dad figures out what to get me for Christmas. During the year, he keeps track of what tools I have borrowed. He then gets me the most borrowed tool for Xmas. Does this apply to homework? Don't leave your shopping cart in the middle of the grocery aisle. For real, people have no concept of space. This is a doorway, let me just stand right here. In the center, the grocery store I go to recently remodeled and the aisles are basically wide enough for two carts to pass. And fuckers just hold up in the center while scanning rows and rows of chips. Be kind to people that are working. Food staff, medical staff, etc. Don't take your bad day out on someone else. Edit. Thanks for the silver kind stranger. As a custodian, maintenance people too please. You can be wrong. It isn't a bad thing. Either. And when you are wrong. Acknowledge it. And learn from it. You don't need to dig down in your beliefs to try and comfort yourself because you can't handle not being right all the time. Dot. Alongside this, it's okay to change your mind. You don't have to stick with something just because you thought of it initially. You look much better when you can change your mind based on new information or reconsideration versus sticking to your guns just to avoid being wrong. Keep toilet cubicles tidy after using them. It amazes me how people can cause utter devastation in there and then walk away. Also, wash your fucking hands. Saw a guy come out of the shitter and just walk on out of the bathroom. Have some fucking decency. Edit. What the hell happened here? My highest rated comment ever? 133 new messages? Reddit must be broke. Guess I got some reading to do. I still wonder what kind of person feels the need to stuff the bowl with so much toilet paper that it puts it out of commission. Never pass up the chance to take a shit. Learned this in the Royal Navy. Never turn down the chance to eat, shit or sleep because there are times when you might not be able to do any of them for an extended period. This would be great advice, if I knew how to shit on command. What is life like in the Navy? Did you spend a lot of it at sea? Did you visit any interesting places? Don't look through the fucking gap of bathroom stalls edit. Thanks for the gold stranger. Worst thing is when it's eye contact between you and the person. Why is there such a big gap? Question mark. Especially in America? Question mark. Don't build gaps in bathroom stalls. If you borrow someone's car, fill up the tank before you return it and make sure it's at least as clean as when you borrowed it. I once loaned my truck out to someone who needed to move a fridge. Fucker left his McDonald's trash all over the passenger floor. I no longer speak to him. Edit. To everyone saying I was a bit harsh that wasn't the only reason I no longer speak to this person. He also screwed a friend out of $2,000 and tried to get me into an MLM. So the stuff he left in my truck wasn't the only trash about him. If you have to cancel on a friend, it should be your responsibility to reschedule. If you cancel and don't reschedule, it's often assumed you canceled it not because you were busy, but because you just didn't care enough about that friend. Rescheduling lets them know you do still want to maintain the friendship. Though if you're good friends this doesn't apply as much. It's more for mostly friends. Closing parenthesis dot. All my friends are mostly friends. Don't put your music on speakers when in a public space. It's not like everyone wants the same genre or was in the mood for music. Get your headphones. Edit. Thank you kind stranger. It's my early cake day treat. I know a guy at my high school who will play music through his phone, not even through actual speakers so it sounds extra shitty in the school library. 
turn on your headlights when it's snowing. I'm talking to you asshole with the white truck. Turn on your lights in any sort of precipitation. Even if you can see okay. It's not just to help you see. It's to make you obvious to other people. Edit. Thank you very much for the silver. Anytime your wipers are on. Your lights should also be on. I think this is even a law in some states. You can't see a car easily through a rain spattered rear windshield. You can see lights. Not pointing out flaws in someone's physical appearance. My mum used to do this to my and my sister's weight all the time when we were kids. Funny part was all she fed us was junk food and anything fried therefore adding to the issue. In Asian culture it's very common that people point out your weight gain, loss. Fuick that. When driving a car, don't be nice. Be predictable. People being nice leads to a shitload of accidents. Edit. Well thank you strangers for the medals. First gold and platinum for sure. Just wanted to share this unwritten rule. I hate it when I'm waiting to pass a street and some old lady stops to let me pass. I would have passed after you drove and it would have been faster for both of us edit. Wow. Thanks for my first reddit gold and silver. Be kind to strangers even if you're having a hard time. Be kind to anyone so many people use having a hard time as an excuse to be dicks to the people closest to them. If someone asks you a question, finish what you're saying with, what about you? Enjoy noticing how many people actually don't do this. Do you know how fast you were going? Dot. It seems a bit cynical. But when they ask something about me I always assume they're opening the door to talk about themselves. But I prefer that anyway so I just turn it around quickly. Never make fun of someone else's laugh. Be it how they sound or how they look. Laughing is the most natural expression of joy and happiness and for someone to feel self-conscious about that because of others' comments is so brutal. Kawhi Leonard got it pretty bad this year. Leave it in a better condition than you found it. Leave nothing but footprints and take nothing but pictures. Dot. Looks like we found the art thief. Dot. It was real easy chief. We just followed his footprints. Dot. Don't use the urinal in your dream. You'll thank me later. Edit. Thanks for silver fam. Edit. Thanks for gold you guys are awesome. The probability of meeting someone you know increases dramatically when you are with someone you don't want to be seen with. Don't do it. Do you spend much time with people you don't want to be seen with? Buy a plunger before you need a plunger. And in turn always have a plunger in the guest bathroom so somebody doesn't have to embarrassingly ask you for one. Give people the personal space. Not everyone wants to snuggle a stranger. I wish a stranger would snuggle with me. Don't ask for something if the person only has one left. Gum, cigarette, piece of cake etc. Closing parenthesis dot. Can I have your last kidney? Wife. Put your damn phone away long enough to drive from point A to point B. FFS. And if you think you have to use it, stop your vehicle to somewhere for a bit, that is legal to park, convenient for other drives, etc. Use it, then put the damn phone away. This is definitely a written rule. At least where I live. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe to support the channel. And above all, have an excellent day you marvelous people.